because I didn't want to be labor at time. But she said to me, uh, she was coming out of the pulpit, she came right up to me and she said, as long as you stay down here, you're no threat to the devil. She said, but if you ever get up here, then you will become a threat to the devil. So, not knowing that that one line was going to affect me like it did, I went on with my life and continued to go through some horrific things. Being abused as a child. Um, I had a, another son and he was murdered. We was homeless. So many things has happened. But in all of those events, I kept hearing her say, as long as you stay down here, you're no threat to the devil. But if you ever get up here, then you become a threat to the devil. So when I saw her face pop up on Facebook, I was like, what in the ham and cheese? All right. I said, that looked like Evangelist Liza. And I kept looking and I kept reading and I kept trying to investigate before I sent her that email. And I said, that it's got to be her. And when I really, when God confirmed it that it was her, I had to reach out to her. So when I say a church that's alive is worth the drive, Amen. it was worth the drive to come here to tell you thank you. Amen. Amen. And if I don't see you after today, I will always hold on to those words. Because it's down in my soul now that I'm so determined that God will use me for his glory. Everything that has happened, all the stuff that has happened, I look back on that stuff now and I was like, wow, it was nothing but the Holy Ghost that has kept me. And so I will get started because um, I'll start flipping on y'all and we'll be in here for another hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs>